Rent a Girlfriend is not a show to get excited about. It's a drama harem that seems to care more about cute girls than actually telling a story. But even so, there's a concept here. At the heart of the show is an idea that excites me. That could give birth to an amazing anime. I actually liked the first episode of this one quite a bit. In episode 4, I had some moments of a very flawed character coming to grips with his issues and trying to push through them. And if handled correctly, this could lead to an enjoyable and relatable experience. Now, the show probably isn't going to be good, and it will continue being a show that really doesn't offer anything special. But I want to indulge my optimism, talk about the what-ifs, and what could have been done with the show to make it great. So episode one had a moment that really stuck out to me, and that was when Kazuya and Chizuru were talking outside the hospital about how everyone feels lonely sometimes. There's a moment of connection between them that really drew me in, because I felt like that more than once. There have been times where I felt like I don't have anyone, or when I'm surrounded by people, I feel even more alone than when I'm alone. It's not a good feeling. There's a sort of depression when you're lonely, a desperation where you want someone or anyone, it doesn't matter who. So I wanted to see this loneliness explored with his relationship, see how he's trying to use Chizuru to fill the hole in his heart. And Mommy could have fit into this as well, and it sort of is in the show with he wants her back, and is really like desperate to get her back, but in the anime that we saw that she's basically just a terrible person, manipulating Kazuya to get them back together. And they could have done this better. They could have made her a person that wants to get Kazuya back and regrets pushing him away. Maybe get into the mindset of why she broke up with him. Why she didn't feel it was right. Maybe she was also like he was with Chizuru. That she was desperate to escape loneliness, so just took the first chance that she got. But then she saw it wasn't a good match, so broke it off. But maybe now she regrets that, thinking that a mediocre relationship is better than being alone. That could have been really great. Then Chizuru. She's a character that I do kind of like her, but I feel like there's a lot of wasted potential there. She's part of the Rent-A-Girlfriend program, and because of that, goes on dates with a lot of different guys. And basically just acts like the perfect girlfriend for them. But that's the thing, though. It's only an act. In the process, it's only natural for guys to develop feelings for her. They are lonely enough to rent a girlfriend, so meeting someone who is so great makes them attracted to her. And even if they know it's fake, even if they can acknowledge logically that she doesn't actually feel that way toward them, it may feel real. In their heart, they may think it is real. So it would be great if they explored that more with other guys beyond just Kazuya. And then maybe Chizuru starts to develop real feelings for some of the guys, but can't tell the difference between what she's actually feeling and the act that she puts on. Like, she seems to legitimately care about Kazuya. Maybe not romantically, but it's more than just a business transaction, it seems. So maybe the show could explore that more. We could see how the other guys are lonely, how that makes them go after Chizuru. Maybe Chizuru feels lonely as well because she's like she has all these guys. But again, she's only acting. There aren't any guys that truly know her as her. They could also have like Kazuya run into Chizuru when she's on a date with another guy. Show some of the drama and conflict there and what, how she reacts, how he reacts, how the other guy reacts if they know the truth. The whole rental girlfriend dynamic could be really interesting. But as it is now, it's basically just a gimmick to introduce Chizuru and, well, that's all. So yeah, the first four episodes were not really good. But I still have hope for the rest of the series. Not much. I probably shouldn't be too optimistic. But I want to talk about where the show could go from here. Episode 4 had a point where Kazuya declared that he and Chizuru were breaking up. Which was the first time we've seen him take basically any initiative in making the situation better. And that's what I want to see. Him trying to make his life better. Because yes, he's a lonely, dumb college student. We've been there. But what makes stories like this interesting is the journey to be a better person. So I want to see him grow. Stop being so passive. He should find the path that he wants and chase after it. Sure, maybe he'll be making a mistake as he does so. But that's better than doing nothing. And the moment when he jumped off the boat in episode 4 to save Chizuru was really great. Sure, it could be another case of forced drama in the show. But it's giving him a chance to really do something great as a person. And it's his choice to do it. He doesn't think about it. He just jumps in. I hope this is an event that pushes him forward, leads him to take more risks for what he really wants. Though it'll probably just wrap him back into the hair and try to decide between Chizuru and Mommy, but yeah, I have hope, as misguided as that might be. 
What I think would be more interesting, though, is if he takes what he learns from Chizuru and Mami and then moves on from that. Then maybe he will end up with another girl in the harem that was introduced in the opening. That'd be really interesting. I think it would make the show different because typically guys always end up with one of the first girls if they end up with anyone at all. And that could really go somewhere. Like, maybe after the boat he ends up questioning does he actually like Chizuru, or they just develop a deeper relationship as friends. And then maybe he ends up with Mommy because, well, he's loved her in the past, thinks they should give it another try, especially after she's been coming on to them. But then he realizes that it's not an actual good relationship, or that she's a terrible person, or both. So he learns from that, and then he ends up with someone else. That would make the show about the journey the characters make, the mistakes they make, and how they mess up before they find the one that they truly love. Or then show how he messes up even after that. That's life. And that would make a good anime. So yeah, let me know what you thought of this idea. It's different than the videos I normally do, but I think it's interesting to explore, and it's more than just me bashing the show for being, well, what it is. Though if you do want me bashing the show along with my friends, go check out the weekly live stream I do on my friend Everything Anime's channel where we talk about the show and other topics. Like Carvano. I kind of want to get a car from there now. So yes, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.